Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I've got a new batch of iOS 8 tweaks I'd love to share with you guys. So these 10 are for the most part new. Now some of them have been updated from iOS 7 in order to support iOS 8, and of course I have tested all of them, and they do support iOS 8.1.1 and iOS 8.1. Now of course, after jailbreaking with Pangu or Taiji, these are the tweaks that you're going to want to install. These are the ones that are supported from those jailbreaks, and the iPhone 6 Plus and iPhone 6 are supported. Now, if you're still on iOS 7, most of these still do work. Now, these are a collection of tweaks that are mostly functional or they just might, you know, enhance the look of your device, help spruce things up a bit, you know, make them a little bit different. And of course, in order to install these tweaks, you guys will need to be jailbroken. Now, if you have not jailbroken your device yet, you can do so here. Just click right there and it'll take you to my video where you can jailbreak your device. Now, most of these tweaks can be found just by searching Cydia. And if you guys want to see a couple bonus ones and get the sources you need, click right here or down below in the description, there will be a link to the website and the full list of all of these tweaks and a couple bonus ones thrown in there. So click on that or in the description and it'll take you to the full list with all the sources and a couple bonus tweaks. And the first tweak of the 10 I will be showing you guys is Bounce Notify 8. So as you can see, it's already in action on my home screen. Basically, best way I can sum it up is it bounces the icon that has a notification on your device. So all 4,000 of those notifications are screaming at me to open them up and it's going to be bouncing like this. Now I could see this becoming a tiring tweak, something you wouldn't want to look at all the time, but you can modify the settings in here to adjust how high you'd want it to bounce and you know, the interval for it to bounce. Let's say I want it a little more rapid at one second and the bounciness to be maximum at 10. Now the good thing is that you don't have to respring, you know, you just go out and the change is there. So now it's even more annoying. It'll keep bouncing and man, you know, if this is your thing, this is definitely a really cool tweak and I could see it being useful if you make the interval something at like 10 seconds, maybe if you're going through your home screen and hey, I should probably check this out. So it pretty much just makes notifications a bit more obvious on your home screen using Bounce Notify 8. Next is BioProtect 8. So this is a very functional tweak and it actually allows you to lock individual applications from prying eyes. Now in order to do this, of course, you will need to have a Touch ID enabled device such as a 5S, 6 or 6 Plus and you know, I have it set up on my photos application. So I don't like using a password. It takes away from the iOS experience because you know, my device is always on me. I'm not afraid of someone else using it. But if you don't use a lock screen or maybe you do and you still want some extra security, this will add it. So in photos, it'll actually enable this little prompt and it'll ask you to go ahead and input your touch ID before opening up the application. I think it's so cool. And it's a little simple way to add a little bit of security to your device you know, without taking away from it. So, you know, hey, what if I just go into here and open it up from here? Well, it prompts you right here as well. Now you can lock other things, not just applications. You can actually lock use of Siri or many other things. Now to get into the settings, it'll actually even prompt you to get into here, but you can vibrate on air and there's all these cool settings you can use. Siri access icon arrangement. So if you don't want anyone rearranging your icons, enable this. It's really cool. This is a very nice tweak. It adds an extra layer of security to iOS. And if you just want to hide your photos or a separate application, say even Snapchat, all you guys have to do is in the settings for it is go into here in applications and select which application you want it to block. So say App Store. I don't want anyone buying things from the App Store. So you know, it blocks it right there. Cool. That's how it works. Next, force good fit. Now this is an extremely useful one. So if you have a newer device such as the iPhone 6 or iPhone 6 Plus, you're probably annoyed by now. I mean, not all applications inside of the App Store have been updated to support the larger resolution, especially of the iPhone 6 Plus. Well, this is where this tweak comes in and it helps so much because, you know, tweaks such as Snapchat, even to this day have not been updated. Most of them have like Instagram and Facebook to support the larger displays, but let me just give you an example. So inside of Snapchat, I have these big icons. And when I go to take a picture, the keyboard is huge. It's just blown up to, you know, to fit the size of the iPhone 6. Well, Force Good Fit fixes that. And here is how. So in settings, all you guys have to do is go into enabled an application. And here you're going to select an application that isn't supported. Now, I think in a future update, it should remove everything else because all of these are for the most part supported. I mean, especially native applications. Why would they even be in here? But anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and find snapshot down here. I'm going to enable that guy. And now we need to respring. And once your device has resprung, 
Now, if we open up Snapchat, you'll notice the difference. So first off, the icons are smaller. It worked its wizardry, and now everything is smaller and fit for the iPhone 6. This looks like the actual update that Snapchat would produce. The keyboard isn't as blown up. It's a better proportion, and generally the app is very well optimized. I gotta say, this is incredible. I love this. It's more than just Snapchat. Any application that isn't optimized for the larger displays, this guy actually makes it fit to the iPhone 6, and it looks like it's native. Next is Time Passcode, and it does exactly what the name suggests. So what this does is it basically makes your passcode the current time that's available on your device. Now there's a very similar tweak that does the same thing with your battery percentage, but I think this is a really cool concept. Your password is constantly changing, so no one can actually guess your password. So it's 515, what you guys have to do is add a zero if it's not 10 or 11 or 12. So 0515 is currently the password and Cool. So as soon as the time changes, it's going to change to the password. And in here in the settings, as you guys can see, you can actually enable the original passcode or disable it if you'd like, and you can make it a reverse time to make things even harder for you. But basically, make the time your passcode, and it still does work with Touch ID, but you can disable that as well. And the time has changed, so I want to go ahead and put 0516 in to show you guys that it is different and cool there you go it unlocks your device based on the time now i don't know this isn't for everybody but if you want a little bit of extra security and you know just some extra fun to your device this is a cool tweak next is spectral and this is a very simple tweak let me just show you how it works it's from the lock screen and all you guys have to do is actually play some music so i'll go ahead and play that and it'll actually change the background, all of this blurred stuff around the album art to match the album art. It pretty much changes the mood of the lock screen. So let me skip through a few songs and show you guys that it does indeed change. So this is an ad and it actually adjusted to the ad down here and up here. Really cool. And once this ad is gone, as you can see, I now have this nice orange blur and black. You know, it actually fits very well. So when you're playing the music, it sets the mood. And I think it's a very simple little addition, but it makes sense. It's really cool. I think this is something Apple could actually even add in the future. It makes sense that they would, but definitely something great. A little tweak that you could add to iOS 8 to make your experience better. Next is Bat Saver. So this is an extremely useful application as well. And it basically extends the battery life of your device through methods that you wouldn't be able to use without jailbreaking your device. Now, such as, let's see in settings, It'll allow you to only use 2G or Edge to check for notifications on your lock screen. It disables all radios such as LTE, 3G, and only uses the 2G signal to check if you got notifications. So that's a method to save battery life that you usually couldn't do without jailbreaking your device. And it goes beyond that. There are so many other things it can do. And, you know, turn off 3G and 4G when you're not using it. Uh, there's a lot of things, especially car mode. I really like this one. So when you plug in your device, it'll enable Bluetooth and it just assumes you're inside of your car when you do that. You can disable it from in here. There are a lot of things as well as battery tracking. It's a very advanced battery tracker. It'll show you what's using your battery life, how you can stop it, all that stuff. So definitely a very useful tweak for iOS 8. Bat Saver helps you extend your battery life through non-conventional methods. Here's my reachability. So a lot of these tweaks I've been showing you are specifically for the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus because a lot of people are upgrading to these devices and it does make sense to you know extend their functionality, especially that they have larger displays. So my reachability, basically allows you to extend the functionality of reachability, which is very limited by Apple. I mean, all you do is double tap and it brings the screen down, you know, to reach things here. But what if you're inside an application? It makes things even easier. So what if I'm in settings in here and I wanna click up here? Well, I can't do that. With my reachability, just double tap and cool. It just brings it down here where I can easily press it and it'll go back for me. Now, not only that, but you can switch sides by doing this and then locking it or you know just like that it's really cool what you can do with this and it just adds a little tiny bit of functionality to ios 8 to make your life easier next is pix so what pix does is allows you to change the animation when scrolling right here in the multitasking pane so stock you get nothing i mean it just slides and that's it boring well with pix let's go ahead and add an animation and my favorite is slide from bottom so now when i go ahead and slide between tweaks or pages 
it'll actually slide up just like that. It looks really cool. Now, I wish you could speed it up a little bit because it's a little delayed. I don't know if that'll be enabled in the future update, but it would be a nice feature to have. Also, there are several other options. So let me try and flip horizontally. And most of these are too obscene. I wouldn't actually use them. This one is quite nice. Well, let me just show you one that I wouldn't use, such as this. It's just too much going on. I mean, yeah, a little too much. But it's a really cool way to add fun little animation to your multitasking pane menu. So along with pics in your multitasking area, there's another tweak, and it's called Kill Background 8. So if you'll notice, there's this little tiny skull in the bottom right, and along with these animations that you can get, you can actually kill all of them at one time just by clicking it right here. So easy. You no longer have to slide up on every single one, especially if you've got a million of them open. It's a really easy way to manage all of your panes in iOS 8. Now the following tweak is for all devices besides the iPhone 6 Plus because it's only enabled for the iPhone 6 Plus out of the box. And it basically allows you to just get the contact image of your contact in the messages, just like the iPhone 6 Plus, except on other devices. So this is an iPhone 6, and I have that feature enabled right here. You know, it's a really elegant little thing to do. I don't know why it was exclusive to the iPhone 6 Plus, probably to showcase a larger display, but as you can see, it can easily fit into smaller displays and still look good at it. And guys, that's my new 10 tweaks for iOS 8. Now, most of these weren't major. They were very small, but very nice additions to have in iOS 8. So definitely check out more of my videos, guys. I have plenty of them all on iOS 8 tweaks, themes, you know, applications, all kind of things. So do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm always posting new things, especially about the jailbreak. I mean, there's so much out there and I have a hard time sharing all of it with you. But these kind of videos help keep you guys updated. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and the next top 10 tweaks on iOS 8. Of course, check out all my other videos and to get the complete list for these tweaks and a couple bonus ones, click down below in the description. There will be a link there and have a great day, guys. Enjoy the tweaks. Peace.